Shut up and sit down. Well, I am headed off, me and my dogs. Got Australian Shepherds so that they can keep me in line down there. Uh, I'm just going for the day. I'm gonna go put my wiki up together. What you got there? Your ground pad? So I got a ground pad for brakes. Uh, I've got my cute pink knife that my husband got me. I got my ax for chopping down trees. Uh, obviously, I've got the necessity of a scarf. That's not a scarf. What's it called again, baby? I don't know. Yeah, but everybody on a loan wears them. And then just in case, I've got my foster. Any matches? Yeah, because foster um, wore the beanie and had the matches. And so well, I've already got my hair done and cute. I wanted to have my beanie with my foster matches in them just in case. So this is me being adorable like um, Callie and Carly. Carly combined. So. <clears throat> All right, so we'll see you in about a day. You'll have a whole fortress built up down there. <sighs> Definitely a wiki up, like uh, Dave. All right, see you tomorrow. Or tonight, supper time. Are you gonna bring me some pizza? Sure, if you're still down there at five o'clock. It is 8.59 a.m. Uh, I was wrong. It's five I'm minutes. Not back. Not being done because I haven't officially started yet. And for real, I don't even have the ten things yet. What do you need? Huh? What do you need? Nothing is washed up on shore yet. So, I'm definitely starting this in the slop. I have seen almost every episode of Alone. I've seen every episode of one through four seasons. Um, I think we just finished episode nine last night of season five in Mongolia. And so, while I've camped before, it's definitely been a minute. <clears throat> I'm gonna go take some of all this uh, knowledge that I've gained in theory and see what kind of practical application I can, um, I don't know, maybe I can put together some of the things. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> walking. That's one of the practical things that I've got to learn uh, through watching all those videos. <laughs> the rock is very slippery right now. The uh, tornado took out a tree there and I could climb over it, but I'm gonna refrain from getting wet right now. And I'm gonna go this direction, which is kind of a new trail <coughs> that my husband started cutting. Um, whoop, whoop. I'm gonna keep it. Jerk. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There you go. I don't know. So, if we go this way, we're now <coughs> around that tree, but back on the same trail system. This is not season four, 
I'm not having to track through the crazy. However, I've got crazy around here. I mean, if we went this way, that's very season four. But I'm gonna go ahead and take the path more traveled for this experience. Coronavirus. Um, I think we're actually officially on day six. If you are um, being obedient, like Governor Stitt asked us to do, but uh, day six, coronavirus self quarantine um, thing. Uh, but during week one of coronavirus, uh, which was really spring break, um, everything got canceled in the world. So my husband and I binge watched the um, History Channel se uh, series alone. Kind of my new favorite obsession. I liked camping before, um, but now I get to apply some of that knowledge. And so uh, <laughs> day six quarantine is trying to create um, kind of a, a space to uh, to work in. Um, I've brought an ax and a handsaw and I've got my water, water, and uh, in here is um, my Bible and a cliff bar. So this is me getting ready to build. Okay, so I think I found a spot here. Um, I'm pretty positive this has been used before by my husband uh, because, and just like on a loan, I did not come down here with a tarp, but you can use what you find. And it looks like they have left it down once before. It is ridiculously muddy because um, yesterday, the day before yesterday, you could only get down here with a canoe. I mean, so the water has receded, but um, but I've got a tarp. Uh, it'll eventually not be muddy, but I can now use that as part of this uh, adventure because I found it in the woods. Boom. I know by experience that if I needed to, not that I really need to because my house is about seven acres that way, but if I needed to, I've got these worms that I found. You could just eat them as they are right now, which is pretty gross, and they've got innards in them right now. I don't want any part of it, but if I wanted to, I could totally eat these. If I wanted to, I could use them to fish with. Um, I could throw them in a stew because I found some snails as well. Um, if I wanted to, <laughs> if I had to, I could. So for what it's worth, like this is coronavirus pandemic time. And I know that there are a bajillion people sitting stuck in their homes and in their backyards that are small because there isn't acreage or land or whatever to play around on. So I know I'm incredibly blessed right now to be able to try out these skills that I've now learned on my new favorite television show. Um, but in this time, like learn a skill, learn something new um, and, and try to apply it. We've got, it sounds like at least two more weeks uh, shut up in our homes. And so, um, Write to me and tell me what you're gonna do. What uh, what skill do you think you'll pick up and learn? And then send me an update of you getting going on it. This I've never done before in my life. I like that you can hear the birds. It's kind of raining. Not only is it is it like kind of raining, but it sounds like the ground sounds as if it, it the water is actually trying to soak in like have you ever watered an extremely dry plant okay maybe you haven't and maybe i'm just the worst house plant keeper ever but whenever i 
water my ridiculously dry house plants. I can hear the sound of them, them just kind of soaking it up. Uh, because where I'm sitting right now was canoe territory a couple of days ago, I think that's what I'm hearing in the ground is that like it's literally trying to absorb water still. So my wiki up is going together. I'm sure to you alone people, it doesn't look like much, but with the tarp that I found, I think instead of doing a wiki up, I'm gonna kind of do a modified teepee. Um, I've put all these uh, branches, but some of them I've cut, um, but most of them I've just kind of found. I put them all here up next to this tree. So I am not alone down here. I do have my trusty old Come on, buddy. Uh, Ralph Clutch went home. So uh, I've only got one Australian Shepherd with me and one Australian Shepherd is a good Australian Shepherd. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Oh, that's my good dog. That's my good oh, at the camera. Smile at the camera. It's not the prettiest thing anybody's ever seen uh, and it's definitely not a long-term solution I've got a little more work to do up here pulling it together my vines are working um, like rope I have my paracord bracelet but I kind of like it so I don't want to cut it however I will if I need to uh, if these keep busting anyway uh, it'll keep me dry up top, I just have to worry about the bottom now. Uh, so, I don't know if there was a right way to do this, but this is the way I'm doing this. I, I don't know what end you're supposed to cut from when you take apart your paracord bracelet. Um, there were probably directions a million years ago whenever I got this thing, which a million years is a really long time for what it's worth um, and it makes me sad that I'm cutting this apart but I also kind of wanted to see what it was all about um, and obviously I'm learning a life lesson if this is the wrong way to do it because it's a ridiculously slow way to do it. I've got my cord all kind of bunched up here. Coming out of that last little piece. And yep, it's two pieces of cord now. I did see on the show that you can take all these little pieces from inside its casing and use each individual piece separately so that you've got a longer lasting cord. Okay, so here are all the individual pieces. Um, and I still have the casing right here, and so I think I'll use the casing for now and uh, finish putting this thing together. I don't 
a lot of work right there. <laughs> okay, so what I've done is I have fastened some stuff up here. And now I'm just kind of working um, this around a little bit more so that um, have, you know, a place out of the shelter or out of the wind or whatever, whatever, anyway. Whatever the technical bushcrafting term is, that's what I'm about to do.